Hi, I'm just going to try and give you just a couple of tips as you watch me jibe around in the lagoon in the Maldives. Um, trying to help you get a little bit more consistent with windfoil jibing. The water is pretty flat in the lagoon, but obviously one of the key things is forward vision. Try not to end up having to do things like your foot change whilst running down a wave or running into the back of a wave. Uh, just plan ahead, have a good look far in advance and uh, plan your jibe ahead of time. You'll notice all these jibes carve a really wide arc, maybe twice as wide as you would on a traditional board. That way you've got a lot more time to sort out foot changes, rig flips and things like that. First tip is don't lean the rig into the turn like you would uh, carving a, a board of the fin. Uh, leave the rig quite upright and open i.e. Uh, not fully sheeted in. You don't want to be uh, able to feel any pressure in your backhand as you enter the carve. If you are well powered up and you can feel the pressure in your backhand, just sheet out. It only takes a couple of inches uh, for you to release your backhand and to feel the pressure drop off. That way the sail can um, remain quite upright. Having the rig upright gives you room to move to the inside of the turn, allowing the rig space to rotate around to the outside uh, of the turn. That way you're not running into the sail, especially in lighter winds when you will have um, apparent wind issues where the sail can easily block you if you sheet it in too much and leave it to the inside of the turn. You'll notice as soon as uh, my rig is flipping that my uh, front foot's already in the strap and that's really the next tip is to change your feet a couple of seconds earlier than you think you should or you would on a traditional board. Make that foot change a little bit earlier and go right into the front strap straight away. You might have heard people recommending that you flip the sail and then change your feet. And whilst that may work on sort of narrower boards, maybe if you've got a, a sort of narrowish free ride type board that can take a foil, it might work on a board like that. But as soon as you're on the dedicated wider foil boards, you'll quickly find that if you don't get your feet out quick, your front foot will tend to lock into the strap because it's right out on the outboard rail. Remember, you don't need to rush things. Foils will keep the board uh, flying much longer than you expect. Obviously, it depends a little bit on your foil and your front wing size, but generally, the board will keep going if you, as long as you're not banking it over too hard. Here I've duck jived the sail in quite light winds uh, and with its camber inducers and it is a, a 6.5 and the board is quite small, a 105. Um, so the sail has blocked me a little bit, uh, reducing my speed, uh, meaning I'm having to pump back up onto the foil to uh, have a speedy exit from the jive.
this time it's worked a bit better and I've got the power on a little bit earlier uh, for a clean getaway. Duck jibes in particular require quite a bit of forward planning because there is quite a long period as you change your feet, flip the sail, where you won't have any uh, height control during the jibe. Talking of height control, you've really got two areas or two times when you can control and plan uh, your height throughout the jibe. So having unhooked, get the board at the height you want it. The windier it is and the rougher it is, the lower you want to enter the jibe, the lower height. If it's very light winds and you're just sort of like hoping to get round the jibe, are flying then you can initiate the jibe from a greater height and then the second period when you're looking to adjust your height is immediately after your foot change if you're fighting to keep the board up and flying and a clean exit from the jibe get your back foot right back very quickly on the other hand, if you're well powered up and you're not wanting to gain any extra height, you can have your back foot linger nearer your uh, front foot, halfway between your front and back uh, foot straps. Here you can see me moving my back foot back to between the back straps. If it was windy and I was overpowered then my back foot may well uh, sit more on where it says foil on my board. Somewhere around the letter O of foil would be my high wind position. And here you can see my back foot is straight back to keep the board up in quite light winds. Here you can see I've actually jibed into a hole in the wind and that's why I've ended up uh, getting my weight back over the board, uh, getting very close to the boom uh, and then having to pump to get the board uh, back up onto the foil. And that's one thing, uh, as long as the board's got some forward momentum, it is relatively easy to get the board back up on the foil. So don't give up uh, when the board's, just because the board's actually back on the surface, pump the board back up quickly whilst you've still got some momentum in the board and the foil. I hope you might have found some of these tips uh, at least slightly useful uh, and if you've got any questions you can ask in the comments below.